What's up, Koi Gotter fans? It's HiringAdrone.com, and today I'm going to be going over uh, a new landing skid that I put on my F450 uh, DJI, uh, I believe, flame wheel knockoff. So this is from You Smile. Um, I purchased this for, on Amazon. It's a pretty good deal. It was only, I believe, like seven bucks or something like that. Comes disassembled, so you do have to assemble it. You just snap these little arms in here or I'm sorry these poles top bottom into these arms put the caps on uh, and then it has right here if you look you have um, these little uh, stoppers that you insert into these plastic pieces with these screw holes and then it screws right into the frame so this is for F450s now, I've taken it out for a test flight and I'm gonna get ready to do it again um, it does have a little bit of a bounce to it, so, um, you know, it can, if you come down hard enough, bounce over and flip over on your quadcopter, which I did experience myself, um, just because I'm trying to get the, the P gain and everything set in with the KK 2.15 uh, board, but for the most part, um, it's a lot more stable than the plastic legs that come with it, um, you know, those have a little bit of bounce to them too as well. Uh, additionally, um, one thing that I did notice is that, you know, you have your motor thrust and this is not extremely stable, so it could cause for some shaky takeoffs, but when the legs are so close down here, you know, it's harder, you know, there's a better chance of it flipping over. I'm not planning on doing any type of like aerobatics, uh, with it, so, you know, I'm going to put my camera down below here. Uh, on this and this will give me plenty of room and protection for my camera uh, when I do mount it. So just to kind of give you an overview, uh, it's a U Smile landing skid. Uh, it's universal for 450s and I believe 550s DJIs. Um, so definitely worth checking out if you're looking for some extra space. Uh, you don't want to build it or you don't want to use uh, the 450 landing gear that comes with most of these kits. I believe mine was from Hobby Power. Um, so, you know, it's very stable on there. Um, there is a little bit of room for oscillation there, but uh, we'll take it out for some test flights and we'll see how it handles with the cage on it. Um, I flew it at night, so I didn't have lights on there. Um, so I could only do it in a parking lot and uh, the concrete's not as forgiving, so it did have some bounce to it. So this is HiringAdron.com. And if uh, you have any questions or if this video helped you out in any way, definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos as well.